in it what's up everybody welcome to url ultimate rocket league we got our legends finals tonight um with me here in the booth ready to go over it it's gonna be crow back again for number two crow how we doing uh pretty great excited to be here for number two might be here for the next two no idea <laughs> make a, four finals appearances but just as a caster uh, but yeah, overall, I'm really excited. Uh, this is going to be a big one. Yesterday, we had contenders. Now, we have the top of the top legends, and it's going to be Cobras versus Trout. You're absolutely right. Uh, it would be the only and first time, by the way, that you would ever make four finals. Um, oh, pretty much. <laughs> I was going to say, you got, one as a, lie, yeah. you got one as a GM, but that's it. Um, no, tonight is a huge night, and it's, it's coupled with a big backstory. So we'll go over it while we're going ahead and you know getting ready for the game. But uh, it's the yep. Legends Trout versus the legends cobras 
Uh, and there's a lot of history between these two teams. Last season, this was round one game. The Cobras beat the Trout 3-0. wasn't even close. Slide played on the Cobras. The Cobras slide played on the Trout last season. Fortunately, we're not able to actually take home a win. It was kind of just waiting for the Cobras here. But uh, it was kind of just, you know, unfortunate they weren't able to take home a win last season at all. Uh, now, they're in the finals. They have beaten a, a top 100 player and the best team, uh, clearly in Legends League. And all of a sudden, they're faced up against the Cobras. And if they can beat Exiled, I have no uh, reason to believe that they can't beat the Cobras. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. A hundred percent. I mean, on paper, the Trout... Yeah, on paper. <laughs> obviously, you know, finals... I mentioned this in the contenders. It's going to have uh, a little bit more of a nerve impact, I think. Yep. Uh, but again, just going back to what you said, yeah, these teams have met before. And the one time they did meet, the Trout actually lost first round to the Cobras back in the last season, actually. But, I mean, again, this is a new season, and these guys are both coming into the finals. So this would be a huge redemption story if the Trout were able to potentially take down the Cobras and win this in finals. And you know what? I, I think they might be able to do it. Again, they just got off a win against Exiled, beating Exiled, a top 100 player. And they're going to have just the confidence, I think. You know, that's a tough team to beat. They were, I think, only lost one game in season. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. No, I Elk think, in Legends. Yeah, I think you're right. It's either one or two. Forfeit and a loss or whatever. But I know that first they did lose two, this right? one. Yep. And so they, they took down the first seed. And now... I believe it, they were the Cobras are the first seed on the other side as well. But I mean, still taking down the first seed in your conference is a huge deal. And really, I think it'll help them here. As long as they play confident in how they did against the Elk, I think they definitely got this. Absolutely. Um, we're just about ready to go ahead and get into this. These guys are ready. Devo showing us that SSL tag. By the way, um, I don't know if you know this, but exo the other player for the cobras also was sly's teammate last season so we've got a full trout team Ooh. from last season in this game no returning players uh for the cobras well, i don't know if you need any we've got a brand new cobra team here by the way the big name to watch on the cobras if it's not exo is going to be aza aza this guy right here uh is going to be your player to watch he's a upwards of 20 salary uh Ooh. and unfortunately he doesn't set the spot for exo white like that but exo does come away with it uh and it's the cobras starting off hot a huge bump by aza on the back rotation to just completely obliterate the trial player out of the net but either way nine seconds in and we got a goal for the cobras first one of the series uh, and that's big one you know starting off the series especially you know up definitely a giant confidence boost uh, you know, Aza is going to be able to pull out some mechanics here. His teammates certainly going to feel good about this. The Trout going to have to find some defense, though. They're going to have to play a little bit, you know, probably out of their comfort zone. We saw Sly play a lot of defense. I don't know. Were you on that game with me? I don't remember if it was you or if it was Crowd or, or somebody else. But uh, I think ooh, I don't know if I was. I might have been watching. I definitely was, was watching. Uh, I just don't know if I was casting at that time. I got you. I got you. Um, I was watching because I remember in Twitch chat saying something about Exiled. Right, right. We, we all were. <laughs> of course. Uh, but yeah, they were playing some really great defense to the Elk, against the Elk. And right. in my opinion, uh, from all the teams across Legends that I personally watched, about like half, maybe two thirds of them, uh, I think they have the best defense, or at least are capable of the best defense, especially when you're defending against Exiled and G Games. Both are really mechanical and just really solid strikers. Uh, obviously, looking at the Cobras right now, I've seen them play once or twice. Uh, so far, we're seeing a really aggressive offense, uh, specifically demo heavy. So as long as they can reduce the impact of the demos, I think the Trout will be able to defend pretty well against the onslaught of the Cobras. I would agree with that. I also think, you know, the Cobras are another team that you don't know too much about. You know, the Trout obviously had a lot of film on the Elk. They knew how to beat Exiled. They knew that all they had to do was actually do it. They knew how to, they knew everything they needed to do. Beating the Cobras is a completely different can of worms because you don't know how they play. You don't know how Isaac can play unless you've, you know, played scrims with them, you know, uh, unless you know how he plays. But if this is your first time yeah. against them, you know, it's, it's gonna be a tough struggle to actually figure out what you are gonna have to do to beat this team. Uh, and even in general, you know, it's not just Azza, he's got a teammate. The demos have been crazy from both sides, but um, this is gonna take this ball up the wall. Gonna try to place this one out for his teammate, teammate up. It's a oh. block by Devo, and that defense coming out oh. from the Trout early. They're gonna need to see more of it, and quite honestly, it kind of looks like it's just a back and forth right now. 
Oh, is the trout looked to get a breakaway? Not the trout, it's the cobras. And this oh, wow. one right across the front of the net. Thought for sure it was going in. And it's gonna be yeah. uh it's gonna be a little awkward for the trout. Yeah, two shots just wide there. Trout struggling to try to prevent a second goal here, but they do go out of that onslaught again without conceding here, maybe an opportunity. Fly having to reach for that it does get the save. As of now with a lot of boost, pops it high. 50 boost gets another touch. Exo tries to go up, gets beat. Still nothing there for the Cobras. Oh, Ooh. wow. Uh, that could have been bad, but he's a Legends player. I, I trust his uh, right. mechanics <laughs> there to not own goal. If it was a little bit lower, I think that probably would have been an own goal, but here we are. Still 1-0 to the Cobras. 1-0 to the Cobras. I want to talk a little bit more about what this game means, though. Uh, the Cobras are now the only team to have won back-to-back -back seasons in... in you know, different leagues. They have a Legends win from last season. They've got a contender win from this season. It would be the first team to win two leagues in a season if they won Legends as well. A little shot from Devo here, gonna go left. Uh, but like I said, this game is absolutely massive for Sly, for the Trout franchise that has done so well these past couple of seasons. You know how you know loyal that fan base is. You know t -Dil, you know, big, oh, yeah. big guy over there. Marine runs a great franchise. So you're gonna get the whole nine yards with them. Uh, but the Trout looking to finally, uh, actually they would be the other team uh, that would be able to take home a second, you know, a, a two year in a row win uh, in any league because they had one in All-Star last season. Oh, and a big a 50. 50. Uh, nothing from that though. Oz was able to clear it now. Another opportunity on the Trout half. Not what you want to see, gets the bump. Aza not able to score though. What a great save by Sly. Is it Aza or Aza? That, I'm gonna go with Azza, but it could be Azza. Okay. Because I'm so used to saying Azira. Was that right. just in? Oh, it'll wow. be in. Wow. They get the tie and goal. 40 we're, seconds in. We're talking about it, but <laughs> Devo. Low flick there around one, and, you know, he keeps himself in the play. Nice little corner read there, too. I know for a fact I wouldn't have read that. Um, oh, yeah, but no, weird. you listen, he's toting the S6 SSL tournament title, I, I think. Tournament title. Um, it looks good and you know these guys they're at the top of their game these guys are the best guys you know to be playing this game right now and specifically they're the best in url because they are here um so it'll kind of be exciting to see how they take things moving forward uh in specific though i'm interested in what game two and three are going to bring because i think game two we see a little bit more of cobra's defense we see a little bit more on the offense from the trout and I think game three, uh, we'll really see who gains control of the series. But we got some time, and we certainly are going to have what looks like overtime here. Yeah, unless something crazy happens. It is finals. Oh, it Maybe is definitely possible. Flicker gets the flick. Is he able to put it in? Aza with a nice save. Even might try to yep. keep it alive, though. Instead, yeah, he decides to kill it. First overtime of the series. Maybe first the mini, but here we are. Sly pushing, losing the kickoff Devo to play this safe as a Whisper's teammate that's on target oh. slide be able to get there and exo will put this in wow. seven seconds into overtime very quick overtime yeah no cobra's not wanting to waste any time here exo takes his time on the ball though definitely throws sly off you see sly is already up as soon as exo hits the ball sly is already going past the ball it's a great read uh but you definitely have to be cautious in overtime it's a great play by the cobras uh, and at the end of the day, it was it was a great game by both teams. It wasn't like it was one team over the other here. Uh, Sly and Devo certainly uh, just as much in this game as the Cobras are. Uh, the Cobras just happened to come away with it on overtime. That was it. I mean, yeah, based off what I'm seeing, I feel like this could legitimately be a Game 7. And the first Game 7 finals match, because unfortunately the last one we had, I think they didn't only go to Game 5. Uh, last, uh, oh, so. last night? Yeah. Oh, uh, Game 6. Yep. Was it? Well, they didn't. Oh, okay. No. It was game five, I thought, because they won four and one. Oh, I thought they like won the two. Only took one all right, game. all right, my apologies. I thought they won two. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know. We're probably both like wrong. 20 years ago. Exactly. <laughs> Either way, we could potentially be seeing a game seven this series. Right. And I'd want to see it. Based off how close these matches are, uh, I think seeing a game seven is only right at the moment. Of course, one team might start to run away with it, but I really think we'll probably see a game seven. And I think both, uh, both these teams' mechanics are going to start to heat up, and we're going to see a little bit more high intensity plays and defense i think absolutely um yeah and you know we we keep talking about like the legacy of these teams but i see so many people you know in this in this twist chat right now that were once a cobras that were are part of the the cobras the, the the cobras clan you know what i mean 
It's one of those yeah. things where it's a legacy. Once you're part of it, you're brothers for life. Uh, Bluffy in the chat last season was a Cobra. Butcher was a Cobra. Uh, you have some of these guys. All these guys were Cobras now. You were a Cobra at one point. And you got the great I Crimson. You know what I mean? There's so much history here for this franchise. Oh my, what an air dribble. Tries to get the bump. Oh. Not able to. Nearly a goal right there in the first 10 seconds again. Might be a recurring thing, but unfortunately stopped out. And we won't see another goal that early. Uh, maybe Azo, though, that decides to clear this out. Devo misses the clear. While Azo misses the touch. Now Sly with an opportunity here. Bump, though. Gets a touch past Exo, and Sly will put this in. Wow. I gotta, I gotta see this okay, again. I really don't know. I don't know how. Oh, oh the wave dash. Oh, oh impressive. No. That is. You know. What's kind of crazy there too is Azza got the bump and he did everything he needed to to help Exo win that challenge as the last man. But that little bump gave Sly the wave dash. And he was <laughs> able to use it against the last back. And honestly, really smart work, but unfortunate for the compass. It's all about oh. who uses their oh. mechanics best. And it's Exo here. Sees he's got a little bit of time between the defenders. A little shot at the net. And Azza, I don't know where Sly was, but this is a wide open net. And Exo never going to miss that. Great work from. Cobra's there, it's it's an equalizing goal. You know, that's really similar to the first goal, I think, from the Cobras with that bump. They, they really gotta start watching these bumps, otherwise, yeah. uh, it's going to really hurt the trout. Yeah, the bumps, the bumps, the demos, I feel like from both teams, honestly, have been pretty, pretty apparent this series. Even last game, we had a few. This game, we've already got some. You know, I guarantee you we're gonna be seeing more, but that's part of the Cobras, you know, that's, that's, the, that's part of everybody's play. It's the meta now. It's the Cobras, that's the way that they play, it's the way that they open up space. Uh, the Trout like to... I don't even know what that was. <laughs> Block each other's touches, I don't know. Yeah, the Trout aren't looking bad on form. They're not no, playing no, bad, no, 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 no. They're, they just look off right now. I don't know what it is. I think it's probably... It's just defensive positioning. Their offense looks fine, but their defensive positioning right now... They're not really reading these bumps. Right. Again, it's only game two, but they need to pick it up quickly, otherwise the series might run away from them. Right. Uh, but it's really the bumps. Wow, what a play by Azza. We're getting a touch Going off ceiling. Off his SSL. I know, right? <laughs> uh, but Devo now maybe take a basic shot on net. Not able to find that. Sly has zero, though. Azza clears it. Sly will clear this to the other corner. Devo there to read it. It's a pass Exo. It's a 1v1 between Devo and Azza. And he get the 50. Not able to. And this will go back to midfield. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, it's off. This could be a goal here. No read from Azza. Exo. Not able to oh. finds not able to find the double straight above his head, but puts it off a little bit to the left. Finds a double though, and this is great work from the Cobras. Look at this control. Exo knew exactly what was going on. As soon as Azza missed, Exo was like, "All right, hold my beer." That play was uh, interesting. Not what I expected to see from Legends. <laughs> you know, the redirect back towards the net. Uh, Azza misreading the uh, oh. the crossbar touch. But hey, either way, Exo puts it in to put them in the lead with two minutes and fifty remaining. There really could have been another goal there, but no goal, and that's good news for the Trout so far. Oh, oh, oh boy. It's wide, and Trout, we need to get this out of their half. Yeah, it's, it's just looking at the offensive pressure here, though, from the Cobras, it's so much more than the Trout have had. The Trout are going to have to pick it up, but you're absolutely right. They look like they're just not themselves right now, and I don't know whether that's just the fact that maybe, you know, they're not as warm as they need to be, whether they're still dealing with having to adjust so this team's play style, you know, we talked about this before, but it is a very crucial factor that they might not have known how to, you know, deal with these guys coming into this game. Oh. Not sure how to deal with Exo, you know, Slides played with them before, but playing with somebody and playing against them are two very different things. Yeah, and Exo's being a great point man for Azza. Azza just hitting him with these passes and the bumps, and Exo's just able to find the goal every time. Right. Uh, and it's just not good news for the Trout. Uh, I mean, there's still... Two minutes remaining in this game, only two goals down. This game is definitely at least tieable. Uh, you can bring it to an overtime, but we'll see. Fly gonna get a little catch here. No boost to work with. It's gonna fall back to Exo. As he pops it mid for Devo, who's gonna go up for it. A bit it's awkward a here for the Trout, though. Yeah, I mean, let me let me ask you another question too, right? If I told you that Azza was like a 20 Sal, 
and that all these other guys were like not 20 cells like i don't know that i could tell a difference like i feel like for the most part you can definitely see it in his mechanics but not as yeah. much in like his play set like how's this i look at him and i look at one tap and one tap's obviously so incredible because he's a ones guy you know what i mean he just commands respect on the ball and not that as it doesn't but i feel like it's kind of just a little bit different here you know what i mean like i just feel like there's a difference in the play styles uh and, and kind of just what we're seeing as i don't know flashiness i guess <laughs> yeah one thing that might be the cause of that is obviously like you said once that's more of a one guy I, I believe possibly I right. as a as a, is a uh a 20 cell would, would it be said i mean it might be twos either way though being a high rated once player it's just naturally going to make you more of a threat especially in 2v2 because there's one extra one less player on each team those are threes uh oh. and it might not matter because <laughs> He was going to beat both of the Cobras players anyways and bring the Trout back into this game too. Now the Cobras are huge for this. As a not able to get back for that, uh, not the Cobras, my goodness, if I mix the two up again, my goodness. Um, <laughs> the Trout are huge for that one. They make the play happen, never count them out. They're always ready to make a play. Uh, and that's been the one thing that I've noticed about them consistently throughout the season. You know, at, at any point, at any time, they're ready to make some random play, some crazy play that the other team is not ready to see coming. And, and that's what's going to bail them out. The fact that they're able to kind of just have that ace up their sleeve at any given time to kind of be able to just make it oh. happen. See what I mean? This is It's just that stuff. You know what I mean? Diva with the phenomenal 50. Watch him stay on the ball here. The control, the respect, the 50, the double 50, and then the goal. And it's just like that. Diva wants this game. They can't go down two here. I mean, Devo's starting to heat up. I think he just had two goals back to back. Correct yep. me if I'm wrong. Uh, and both those goals were great. He had a great flick. Uh, and then now he had a great double beat again with just phenomenal 50s. Uh, 15 seconds, though. Can the Trouts bring this to an overtime or maybe get a, a fourth here in regulation? Devo up for the air dribble. Doesn't have a ton of boost. Gets the reset. Tries to get oh, the bump. But... Oh, heck. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he's not able to get back. Oh, no. No boost. Oh no. oh, no. He had a bit, but you see that slide turned a little bit yep. too late. He didn't notice that Aza could get that angle. And oh. That's tragic for the Trouts. I don't know if it's they'll be able to bring him back. But Listen. Hey, door is slightly open. Two seconds. It does crack. It does crack. But I'll tell you right now, if there's a team that's going to be able to get it done, it's these two right here. Uh, as he pops it up, slide's going to get a little touch. Going to have to find one more. Oh, no. It's still up. It's definitely still up, and it's definitely still possible as ads are going to knock it down, and the Cobras are going to go up too. Ah, uh, listen, I, all I know is that the Cobras have been pretty much doubted this entire playoffs by just about everybody. Um, and not to say that they should be not doubted right now, uh, but I think it's very important that we realize how legitimate this Cobras franchise has been uh, and how little credit we've given to them. Yeah, uh, I, I agree. I think it's definitely wrong to underrate these guys they've played great throughout their season and they're playing great right now here in the finals match for legends but to be honest i think uh trout just kind of misplayed there that really should have gone to an overtime yeah. and i think it really should be tied in the series but either way the game ended how it ended cobras are up by two now in the series and i just need two more wins to become the legends final victors so we'll see if they can do it I could not even believe it that we would go back to back potential legends champions in the cobras uh obviously i, I mean no you, you'd think you'd think that but listen crimson's about to have two to his team right here and that's certainly something i couldn't have told you at the beginning of unl um yeah these guys joined up real quick ready to go here we're getting into game number three london cobras potentially about to put themselves on game point with a win here uh, i got a question yeah so, who do you think are the protagonists in this series? Because if I had to name a protagonist, I think it'd be the Trout, just because it's sort of a revenge story. So surely they're going to have a little bit of plot armor to bring this back to a neutral series. They surely win these next two games, right? Listen, if, it would, if it's going to fit the script that I wrote personally, then we're going to see we're going to see a heck of a series grow. That's all okay, I'm saying. That's what, that's what I thought. That's all I'm I mean, saying. We're, we're clearly scripted here. As let's well, let's so. just say that... Let's just say that here in URL, the Trout are a second half team. And let me also tell you, 
you know, in, in a story plot, you know, some bot armor, you know, some stuff happens, but every once in a while, your main character takes a fall. And sometimes, you yeah. know, that fall helps them, you know, to just be ready to just build up and, and get ready again for next season. And maybe that's the fall here, or, or maybe, you know, they just pull it out in seven because they're just like that. But I really do think trout, it could happen either way. And Henny joining us in the booth. I think you've got a, a new... Uh, I feel a little subject to analyze. I think Az is really up here doing the board's work right now. Yeah, uh, definitely. I'd hope Azza would be in a twin cell. <laughs> yeah, I can agree with that. Azza though, oh looking to get the, bump, gets the bump. He gets the bump. Filthy. Absolutely filthy. Ridiculous. Not really uh, anything Sly can do there as last back. I mean, he got a beautiful touch. Azza has complete control of the situation. Had the boost. Still has 10. After that, again, there's just not much that can be done. That will put the Cobras up in game three with three minutes and 41 seconds remaining. Yeah, and let me also point out the fact that it's not just like one of these guys doing everything. The Cobras right now are playing as, a, you know, a weld oil machine. You know, Exo yeah, and, and Azo, sure. they look good together. They're passing, they're making play, they're bumping each other. You know what I mean? Like, they're totally just on the same page. They're getting things done. They're putting the ball in positions where they're able to succeed with it. And that's ultimately all that you're going to have to be able to do here. And I really do think that it's going to work out for them continuously because of those factors. Uh, let's talk about the Trout here for a second. They're definitely not down and out of this game. And the past two games have been really close. I don't think they're demoralized. I don't think they're like completely out of this series. I think they just need to take a couple of good plays, make a couple of good plays, and really just make a couple of good saves. You know, the defense is where it needs to pick up. I feel like the defense last game was a huge high point for them. And, and it's definitely not been as much this game. But then again, you're also dealing with an as So it's like, what are you going to do? But um, I mean, you got half a game. If I were the Trout, I mean, not even really being on par with these guys, I'm still like a, <laughs> a 16 style at the least. Maybe right. I give a little bit of help there, 16.5. Uh, I would say they need to play a little bit faster. They're just, you know, obviously it's going to be a lot harder to play fast and not play reckless against a team like this because the Cobras are playing really well offensive. Oh, okay. I nearly just find this way in. Uh, but right now they're just finding themselves a little bit too much on their own half. And even if you get a boom, maybe lose possession. If you just play a little bit more aggressive and force as an exo to play faster, that might help alleviate the pressure and the offensive strength that these Cobras have and have showed in this game. And maybe they can get a goal or two and you bring this game three back. Diva with an opportunity here. The look, the demo, Sly hoping to get it in. And there, there it go. is. Nice. The, I mean, listen, you get it right back. You Trout, they need that goal. They need two more here though. They need to get the next goal. I think that's what's important here. If they can find the next goal, then they're going to be able to just kind of replenish that defense. They're going to find that stability in their backfield. They're going to be able to take the ball out. They're going to just be able to reset. And I really do think that it's going to be as simple as that. They're going to be able to just go in, reset, play some defense, and, and just park the bus and be done. That's all they have to do. I mean, if we're still going along script here, uh, I, I think it says 2-1 in this game, but with like 15 seconds remaining, so yep, it has we'll to see be, right? if they follow it. But Salai here, looking to get another goal. We'll leave it for Devo. Does beat Azza, but Exo looking to clue this. to bring it back to the Trout half, and a great shot. Oh, Sly wow. not able to get there, and they're already going off script. The Trout will struggle for this last minute to try to bring this back to a tie game. By the way, I want to point out that X is on console. That's ridiculous. That's impressive. When, whenever I Very see, whenever I see console players up at this rank, it really just is impressive. Uh, definitely a huge shout to you for being able to pull off uh, something that I couldn't even do in plat. So. <laughs> yeah. As of though, up again, looking to put in a third. Gets the double. Are you and for real? Wow, able to find it. I don't know, and he had zero. I think trying to get that touch. This might be one of the yeah, shots we've seen. Just as he gets the touch. What is that? He squeezes it past Devo and Sly's just planted on the goal line, not able to get there. Wow. Oh my god, dude, he's broken. Absolutely he ridiculous broken. right now. They gotta do something about it. They, they do. They need to stop the bleeding. And it's not even that. It's The Cobras are just playing all around really, really well right now. Uh, and the Trout definitely have a couple of small things they have to do. But like I said, it, it really just isn't much. Sly needs to put this in. It's, oh, 
the boost is oh. killing the trout right now. Evo gets a touch. As a touch has a lot of boost here. Both trout players in the same position. Not what you want to see. Again, still looking a little bit awkward on defense. Here an opportunity though. Tries to put one in. As a, they're able to save it and prevent another goal for the trout. 20 seconds remaining and still. Game is closing. The door is closing for game three, and yeah. I'm thinking we might find ourselves on a, a match point situation. And that's tough to believe, to be honest with you. Seeing these two teams, you know, watching the legitimate battle that was, you know, the Trout versus the Elk, and then now seeing, like, what's Ooh. happening here, the door has now just been flung wide open again. And with four seconds left, it's certainly a possibility that they do this. Like I said, if there's a team that's going to do it, it's going to be them. Uh, but you have to do it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, they have to do it here. Uh, four seconds. They really need a good kickoff here. Some sort of breakaway or flick, and that's going to pop high. Sly has to immediately go for that. As it gets a touch, Devo yeah. needs to hit it and just not able to get there. Exo will pop this down, and Cobras now find themselves on match point. It will be a sweep if they're able to win in game four, and that would be absurd to see a sweep when I predicted a game seven. Wow. Cobras literally a game away from going home with two wins. Two finals performances this season. They will be going home two for two. They're going to have two trophies, dude. Where the hell are Dupa and Joe going to put all of this gold? I just I don't, don't even know. know right? I, like, honestly. I, I just don't get a vault. it. Absolutely. <laughs> it's a whole new vault in order to store <laughs> the, these trophies that they're picking up. The URL London Cobra's vault. I love it. <laughs> it's, it's, too, it's coming soon. It's happening. Um, coming soon. Okay. So let's, let's break this down for a second. Game away from winning the finals. You're the London Cobras right now. You have nothing to fret. You, you are just playing your game and doing whatever you want. The Trout, however, bit of a different situation. It's game point. A loss means you go home and you're done for the season. And they've worked pretty damn hard to get here. This is definitely not where the story ends. Personally, for me, this is where it ramps back up. This is where they're going to come out and they're going to put it all on the line. They know they have everything you know, to give and nothing to lose right now. So personally, I think the Trout take this game and then we see a, a different Trout moving forward. Yeah, one thing that I'm trying to remember because it feels again like 2 million years ago. Uh, <laughs> the Trout, didn't they come back and win three in a row in order to beat Elk? Uh, if they did, I mean, that this is definitely a second half team and I wouldn't count out the reverse yeah. sweep. They did, they did not. They didn't. It, did no. they just straight up beat the Elk then? Because I swear it was like a comeback. So it was, I think it's they went seven. up. Yeah, well, they went seven, up. But... They went up two to one, and then okay. it was two to two. Then they went up three to two. Then it was three to three. Then they won oh, okay. four to three. Oh, okay. I'm mistaken. I, for some reason, I thought it was like they got one, and then the elk won three, and then it was three one, and then I thought they came back to a game seven. No, I could be wrong. Either way, no, they was definitely. Still so they half. played out of their like they were playing out. Oh of their my work. gosh! Oh Guys, my goodness! Uh, uh, we need to see more of that slide. We definitely need to see more of that. Hold on, screen yeah. share for Henny if you can. Yeah, go ahead, screen share so I'm not behind you guys. Yeah. Quick I got reset you. from Sly, you need that. And, and you know, we've not seen anything mechanical-wise from Sly either. Like I said, you know, I just, I feel like we just see so much more from these guys on a daily basis. And right now it's it's just not coming through, but Sly knocking on the door says, here I, I am, you one. forgot what? about me. The second one's right here. It's, he gets a nice little kickoff goal, but Listen, the Trout have a couple pillow goals. You need those. You absolutely oh, yeah. need them. And especially the way the series has gone, this is a great way to start this game. I literally went to share my screen, and there was already a second goal put in by Sly. <laughs> kind of insane. Sly really showing up this game so far. Can you keep the momentum, though? They're up by two, and not even a minute has passed. What a touch. Oh, the Cobra is going to be back on the scene here. Devo gets a little touch out, and it's going to be extra with the control. The touch out to Azza, and I feel like that's the game that you need to be playing more than anything else. Do not let the ball get to Azza, and if it gets to him, get it away immediately. He oh finds my gosh. the top right corner off of the right hand post. And that's a new level of ridiculous. I just, I don't know that I've seen that before. That's, what is that? I don't know. I'm but crazy. he just had, he turned on unlimited boost there and just soared across the net in order to find that top corner. Uh, and already three goals pretty much within the first minutes and not what the Trout want to see. They wanted, they wanted to at least keep this lead for a bit longer, but now they only have a goal separating between a tie game. 
Uh, as uh, taking this to the sky here. Gonna get the touch above Sly, leaving Devo back for himself. Gonna look like a 1v2 for the Trout here. Devo, oh, no. no boost. Not gonna be able to take the control that he wants. Gonna have to make a save here as well. Right back over to the Cobra. So we're gonna keep some control on this side. Devo with the fakes. And a little a physical faster. play here, yeah. Bumps are killing them. I mean... Oh my, I had to hold my breath ridiculous. there, Devo. Yep. <laughs> I know. Uh, Devo able to get the save. Not able to get that one. Sly finally able to get this out of the Trout half. But the Cobras have been pretty pretty good on defense as well. Um, really, they're just able to get it out of their half swiftly and quickly, especially with Exo carrying it from nearly Literally. across the entire field. And, and it's just, it's been tough for the Trout throughout this whole series. But they have the lead. And if they can hold this lead, they will hold on for another game. Exo gonna get the double touch off the sidewall, put this in better position for his teammate as it gets the challenge. Is it gonna go back to the net again? One right above. And this one's gonna be dangerous. Exo is gonna have to take control here. Oh boy, and it's just a lot of back and forth. Exo with the shot. And there's the equalizer right around half the game. Ladies and gentlemen, it's 0 0. Two minutes and 28 seconds left to go. The Trout story on the line. Trout potentially going home without a championship this season. The Cobras are making history right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, but Trout, they're tied. You know, it's definitely not over. Go anyway. Um, the issue that I'm still seeing, even in this game three, is the hesitation on, on defense. You know, like just there, that goal stemmed from Sly having a little bit of unfortunate touch and Devo pushing up too much. And there, Devo misses again, just not able to get a touch. And. They're just kind of flopping around on defense. This is not the defense, or even the Trout that I saw. Again, we're seeing good mechanical plays from Sly, but just, we need to see a lot more. We need to see how they were playing at deal. Oh my goodness, oh, and what uh, a shot a little from Devo. <laughs> and that's, and listen, that's, this is a shot that says, by the way, we're down and we need a helping hand right now. This goes really in top shot. right, sh I, I, I don't even know what that is. Actually, I couldn't get there. Oz, I didn't see it. Uh, and it's going to put the Trout up one with two minutes left to go. Crow, you're right, though. I mean, these guys on defense are not playing the way they were, you know, uh, two weeks ago. Oh, uh, they're it matter, though. <laughs> well, not good by Debo. Uh, one thing, it, it seems that their play style is almost completely flipped. You know, they were playing really solid defense counterattacks. Now their defense just isn't there, but their offense is killing it. Like, they are looking unstoppable right now with these plays. Pick up number seven in the books. And Sly gonna try to take this one around, get the 50 for his teammate, not able to get there. Evo and Sly have made a crazy little rejuvenating uh, little comeback here. And, and it just looks like they're on top of the game, just enough to be in control. Uh, minute 30 left to go in this game. And it, yeah, they definitely got some control, but they cannot give up at all yet we've seen what they can do the cobras are just as capable of coming back and taking this game as they are with coming back and, and you know putting two more on the net you know what i mean yeah 100 percent oh yeah man. i said it i knew as soon as i said it it was gonna happen i don't know what it is but oh no it, it just to put bluntly it just seems like the defense is just non-existent for the trial right now and that is so i never thought i'd ever say that you know i i was a firm believer that this was one of the best defensive teams in the league. And now it's like the polar opposite. Now they, they're seemingly playing extremely well on offense, but the defense just isn't there. And I don't know if it's miscommunication between Devo and Sly, if they're slumping Sly, is allegedly slumping based off his name, but it, need, it needs to improve. They still have the lead though. From what I've seen, it, it's a lot of um, disruption. Oh. Wow, there it is. Exo has been amazing with the disruption plays since I've been watching. Like, I mean, he's he might not be the most the you know on ball guy, but he's but he's doing is very crucial and has just kind of free play. Yeah, that's fair. Forty five seconds remaining though. Trout do return to their two goal lead, but Exo looking to bring this back to only a one goal lead. Gets a touch. Evo having to make a save is able to save that. Aza, though, playing swiftly. Net is open if somehow he can hit a Doomsie. He decides to pass. Exo, nowhere to be found, though. 
big touch here. Cobra is still down two. Uh, seemingly looking at the Trout might sneak away with this game. Bring us with game five and still the London Cobras on game point. A win from any game in this point moving forward is going to mean that they take the finals. Trout going to have to win four straight games. Now three more straight games. For anything to happen, the door is still open. Let me tell you. And he knew it was coming. Look at that double demo, though. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> One, two, and that ball will just slowly roll in at a whopping 29 kilometers per hour. All right. To the trout net. Two seconds, though. But does, it the, does the pillow go hold? Oh, no. Especially with ads in 45 yeah, boost and a man to beat. It looks like we beat. might be. Oh, it's still up, It's not though. over. It's not over. That's over. Oh, double commit, though. They pitch it out. Uh, not sure if that was intentional, but the trout will hang on for another game. Start of a potential reverse sweep, uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, but so far, pretty good showing from the Trout. Close, but Trout still maybe starting to show some more signs of life here. Um, yeah, you can't you can't outshoot a team like you know the Cobras. So I mean, your defense has to pipe up. Uh, yeah. If you think you can sit here and play three more games and get three more dubs, you know, trying to outshoot uh, the Cobras, then. You're already shooting yourself in the foot by game that you know that third game that you need to win. Right. Uh, the, their defense has to turn back into uh, what they were playing two weeks ago when they had great rotations going. When at every point there's a shot coming, there was somebody back. Yep. There's a lot of double commits and uh, hesitations going on with the trout, and um, it's gonna it's gonna kill them, and they're gonna pay for it if they keep doing it. So they just gotta get back onto that free flow defense and. And keep the shots going and keep the confidence up. Well, I you know what the trout need. What do you think Sorry the trout need? You. No, 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 no. I'm right there with you. What do you think the trout need? They need a Tito hype speech. They need a Tito hype they speech. They need their biggest fan to come in and just really hype them up. You know, Say, yo, work, get that defense rolling. Keep the shots up. You guys got this. You know, say a little bit more. <laughs> Maybe throw in a little bit of uh, vulgar language in there. Just, just get them hyped. Listen, you know, they really is, need to be feeling themselves. This is Tito. You know that nothing of the sort is coming. You're, he's going to get in there and it's going uh, yeah. to be, listen, you guys are terrible. Throw yep. the series. <laughs> oh, my God. And that's that exactly how it's going to be. I, listen, that's exactly what it would have been. That would, Tito would have applauded that. Yeah, that's probably all we would get. But, you know, we can only hope uh, as we get into this game. Wow. Four, five, four, or five. Ooh, oh, it's God, wide. It's five. Because right, game yeah. five. Yep. Four, four, four points in the series. Game five. Sorry, I what a remember. fifty. Uh, and this could be the first goal for game Dude, five. Dude, I'm there telling you, the Trout are starting the comeback now. Look at the fifty from Sly. Sly, it's been a bit. It's, I think it's Sly figuring out where he needs to be. You know, kind of in this. I feel like Devo's really solidified himself as that first man. He's gonna make it happen. Sly is gonna clean it up. But they're gonna pass it to each other while they're up front. You know what I mean? There's no specific. Yeah. You know, a number one, number two. It's whoever's gonna get the ball. But I do think that Debo plays the better first man, and Sly is, is able to come in and kind of clean up where it's needed. Like I said, it's also that's also just me. It could be completely incorrect. Sly could be playing a completely different game. To me, that's kind of just the thought, the vibe that I've kind of gotten from everything. But the Cobras have came out playing a completely different game too. Yeah, you have to remember, nobody knows how the Cobras are going to play this game. You know, you know who Anza is, but you don't know how the team plays unless you scrim. That's true. So it's a, uh, it's a totally different case, but the shot, oh my. what a save. That's ridiculous. For an absolute clanger on net. And right now, the Cobra's finding themselves on more defense than the, uh, the Trout this game. And that is surprising. It could really mean that this series is making a turn. But let me also point out the fact, and, and Henny will notice this as well. So is the one who challenges first. When they're both back, Exo challenges before Azza does. And I have to assume it's because Azza's going to get that second hit, or he's going to get that more powerful touch. Um, but I, I think it's kind of interesting to kind of see him do that. And we see Exo taking a lot of those touches and staying on the ball a lot more just because he's the one that's challenging first. And I, I think it's on purpose. Yeah. Oh, sorry, no, you no, you, we got no, you. no, no. I was just saying, yeah, I, I definitely agree. I mean, you're, you're going to... You can't push your first man. Like, you know, Exo's not the first man, but if you want to make disruption plays like that, then you've got to push that guy out. And, right. and by pushing him out, uh, you know, you're not having him just dive in on the ball and, and go for the demo or anything. But you have to trust him to make some kind of smart play to set up um, 
to set up that the challenge. And then Adley has been just sitting back for it, uh, wait, waiting for that ball to get cleared somewhere, and he's, he's tracking down the ball and making a play happen, which is catching defense in uh, you know, awkward positions. But right now, you're not seeing that. Right now, the Cobra playing a lot slower than what they have been playing, and um, B1 Slyer actually taking advantage of that. Ooh. Right, nearly a shot. Fine sway in by Azza. Exo, though, clears it back, and Trout's still holding on with about a minute 40 remaining. Uh, I mean, Nolan, you think they could pull it out? I, I mean, listen, as we move closer and closer to the end of this game, it's going to be all about the momentum. Where do the Trout end this game? If they're able to pull this game somehow and, and win it, then yeah, their momentum that they'll be feeling and the pressure that they will have, the hype that they'll be feeling, it'll be there. It'll be a game, it'll be a series. Yeah, I could see it totally going to seven. But I think there's a grand possibility that the Cobras are able to pull this one out. It's only 1-0 and, you know, it's, you know, one guy at each other's throat. Azza is about to score that, unfortunately not able to find it. Uh, but the Trout are completely playing a different game. You're absolutely right. I think it kind of just comes down to what the end of the, you know, what the end of the game looks like. Who, who's playing differently and better at the end, literally at the end of the game. Like, you know, the last minute or so, you know, this time that we have right here. Uh, as we get a shot on net, Exo not able to find it. 50 seconds left on the clock. Devo look to take some control. Go to second hey, on the slide. Not able to find it. 40 seconds left to go. So Still 1-0. A lot of good things that are coming from oh the, the Trout wow. here, which, oh what a, wow. wow. What a save. That's a great defense, what, 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 but what a play by Sly. Uh, I don't know But how what that you're seeing with it. the Trout is they're, they're getting the ball behind, you know, the Cobras this time. Yep. And uh, so there's, there's a, you know, you, you might think like, wow, you know, hey, oh you were taking God. a shot. Good shot by Sly. Uh... Wow, so they find another one with 13 seconds remaining and looking like they're going to get their second win for the series, but door is still open. Cast your curse, might find two here, just casually. Oh my uh, god. But it, oh, maybe they're, the Cobras are gonna need to find a goal here. And Five no, seconds I, remaining. I think this is the game oh. for the Trout. They're, they're Steals, definitely so. not getting this done here. Yeah, the Trout. Yeah, no, the, the Trout's game again. here has been amazing. Um, As it wants from the, the first game that I watched, that they uh, to put, where I think, I think I got in here at the, I started watching game two. Um, so from the first games, that the what the Trout are doing is they are adapting now. At this point, it's taken them a long time to really get it, but that game was a lot of pressure by banging the ball just towards the net, and it was keeping. It was keeping the Cobras at bay from not being able to really just push the ball forward. Um, whereas you saw what game three, the Cobras were able just to, you know, really hammer that ball is because they were not getting those big clears. They were not, you know, just pressuring. They were trying to stay on ball. They were trying to stay controlled. And right now you're going to, the Trout are kind of playing more of a get the ball downfield. Yep. And it's making them keep as a back a lot farther allowing them more time to actually position themselves for good plays. Evo almost getting an instant shot on net there. Uh, as we fall somehow into game six, by the way, uh, this game was supposed to be over in game four. The Trout have brought it back to game six. Uh, one more win and we'll be going to game seven. In almost fashion of being a reverse sweep, can oh. you get their first No launch? power. Oh, no power. Just couldn't get there, no boost. Looks like he's a little bit awkward. Sly hoping to buy Devo a moment. Still really awkward. And yeah, I, I can see this being a tough uh, first goal for the for the Trout to have to give up here if they are able to give it up. Here we go. Devo looking to oh. stay on the ball. Fakes out Azza a bit. Now Sly will go and take Devo's place, but no one there. Devo playing smart, expecting the boom from Azza. Love all the boost, oh, your play-by-play play has gotten so much better. It really has. Thank I you. love it. Yeah, I mean, I've cast it so much. Mm, so. That's not oh. good. Oh. First, first goal, we'll go to the Cobras in this game six, though. Listen, Bluffy's already made the call, all right? Bluffy and Omen are big in on the Cobras in six. If the Cobras win the game, they win it in six. 
I just don't know that that's exactly where the Trout are going to leave this. The Trout do not just win two games out of nowhere. It no longer reverse sweep just so that they can leave it, right? Like, that's not how no, this goes. No. This Absolutely is not how not. this goes. Listen, we wrote the script last night. I can tell you right now, this isn't how it goes. Oh, it goes through the game, so we all It, it has to. Uh, but they got to say the script here. Devo trying to pass to Sly. Sly, not a lot of boost, though. Net sort of open, but Sly just doesn't have any boost, and we'll get bumped by Exo, and this will be a tough 1v1 for Devo to try to win. Azza looking at the flick, but Devo able to get a bump on Azza, running any offense from developing there. Sly going to take this one down the field. He can get a little 50 at the end, not able to find it as Devo going to keep this ball in the Cobra's field of play oh. here. I don't even know Devo's what, so cracked. I don't even know what happens here. Does he 50 it off of Azza? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Oh, it was Exo. It, oh, he just he gets just... it right off of him. Oh, yeah. that's even better. I, I don't know if that was really a 50 off of him. You know, I think it was more of a pinch right in front of him. <laughs> it's hard to tell. I really just don't know. Uh, but either yeah, way, I, that's going to be a goal for the Trout. Why do I feel like the Cobras are completely kind of... They, they've lost momentum. Like, tremendously, oh, by the way. And Devo has gained it all. It, it's it's not even Sly right now. Sly is being the perfect second man. Sly has done everything perfectly so far. Uh, but right now, it's, I have it's to, Devo I have who has to, to keep the... I disagree with you right now, really? Nolan. It, it's... It's, in my opinion, it's Sly that's actually gained the confidence of momentum. Um, if you really pay attention, Sly's making the right plays, and he's not hesitating no more. Uh, Sly's 52 points would disagree with you, though. It's 50, I'm, I'm the scoreboard at this, at this, this level, game. the scoreboard has no, no uh, actual amount of understanding how uh, in-depth somebody can be in, in a game. Oh, I absolutely agree. I'm just definitely seeing way more from Devo than I am from Sly right now. And like I said, it's, it's just that Devo's being put in that front man position. He's making the goals happen. He's making these plays happen. And like I said, you know, they're, they're both on it. They're both living it. And to be honest, half of these half of these touches that are being made aren't even intentional. They're just the ball's moving so fast that it's hit somebody else's car. And, you know, there's a ricochet and as it goes for the Gosh. dribble. It's amazing that it doesn't find its way in. You know, I'll stir the pot a little bit more and say that I think it's both of them. I think they're both rotating as first man, both making their own solid plays, but it's not that one of them is doing more than the other. It's that they're both getting great touches and instantly going off each other's touches. So even on yes, defense, it, it, so, it's, yeah. it's allowing, like, Fly's play is allowing Devo now. Like, you know, we are talking about EXO allowing free, like, free play mode. For Azza, it switched. Sly is allowing Devo to just get in there and be mechanical, like just be Devo. Big pit and and that's like though. the best teammate to have is when they just let you be you. Right, where you can just go do what you want to do, and they know what you're yeah. gonna do, and you know what I mean. Like that's where the chemistry. So Sly's comes like, out. yeah, it, Sly's just down there for the nitty gritty, and he's like, "Yo, Devo, do your thing." Yeah. Little touch here from EXO. By the way, I don't even know how the heck we've come back to a minute being left in this game, but there is a minute left in this game. It's a great touch from Sly to keep it in to start off the minute, but the Cobras are, are certainly going to have to get this off their side. I feel like they have seen far too much defense this game uh, for what they are used to. And I definitely um, think Azus came back down to earth. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Until oh, he hits this. Maybe, oh, yeah. Oh. Someone commit by the Trout. Trout need to regain here. Sly, inputting the clear off the back wall. 30 seconds remaining. Devo kind of hitting that to no one, though. Azza will take control of this. Use all his boost to get a 50. We'll go under. Devo needs to make a player, and it is able to clear it. Time is ticking, though. Nearly 15 seconds remaining. Can the Trout find a goal here to bring this to a game seven? Does somebody score in regulation here, though? Oh god, I don't know. Oh, My heart's starting no. to beat. Oh, oh it could no. be it. It's just getting back though. Not a great touch. Oh, Azza boy. does have a good touch though, and Devo trying to keep it alive, but we will get an overtime in game. I am not happy that this is an overtime right no, now. No, no, me neither. This is this is gonna be a little stressful. Oh, that I'm is, already uh, stressed. With the carry and sly off to the side. Uh, the trout are, are the trout have to win here. To see a game seven, the trout have to win here. Sly with the ball. Gets it over one EXO! Let's go! Oh, we see game seven! Oh, We're going to game seven! How are we going to game seven right now? 
that little touch. It, I told a, you guys. I told you guys. How are we going to get Trout. seven? As a had oh full faith, God. Evo would be able, or sorry, Exo. I don't even know my players, but the players. Uh, Exo would be able to get the touch, and that last cheeky little touch <laughs> gets right over him and just no contact. As a just not See, this able to get is, back. This is why I love Sly and Devo because they're always in it. Like you, it doesn't matter what you do. Uh, you know, like even with when they went against the Elk, I knew that was like going to be probably one of the best showdowns of the season and that playoff. And it's, you know, yeah, sure, we beat them in the regular season, but Sly and Devo are, they, they never just slow down. But they will let you go fast, and then sooner or later, you have to slow down. And we're seeing that slow down, and we're seeing Sly and Devo take full advantage of it. Um, like, they go at 50 miles per hour. You might be going at 75, but sooner or later, you're going to have to slow down and take a breath. And then, boom, they hit you with it. Gentlemen, yeah. let, me, let me be the one to inform you right now. We are in game seven of a game that should have ended at game four. Yeah, I'm in disbelief. But, this you know. is redonkulous. I, I, just, I know I'm, game, I'm not at disbelief. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm, I'm sort of in disbelief because the Cobras are a great team. But I'm also not because I know this Trout team. I've seen what they're capable of. And right. If there's any team that could do this, it would be the Trout. Big flick here from Sly. Exo going to get one touch on the ball. And the pressure just continues from the Trout. As Sly going to get a little catch here. Exo already off the wall. Sly misses the touch. It's going to be Azo on the 1v1 with Devo here. The Trout going to see if they can put Good something defense. away early. Sly going to hand the ball back to the Cobras here. And this is a bit of an unfortunate bout for them. As Azo takes this off the wall. Looks to find one on the net as the first minute Eclipse is here in game number seven. Little touch here from Exo. The ball falls in front of the net. As they're not able to find it, the ball rolls back. If the back. Cobras want to pull this one out, Exo has to put himself back in, just going for the bumps and the demos. Yeah, they definitely strayed from that, and it definitely started to show that that was, you know, what was working for them. Yeah, you have to, you have to let Azza free play. This is a rough commit. Yeah, oh, I knew as soon like as that. I saw that commit yeah. in the corner from Devo that that was going to be a goal. You can never do that. Kind of a, I mean, I understand it because the Trout, they want to keep their offensive pressure and their momentum, especially on a game seven, but a little bit of a rookie mistake. I, I'd expect a little bit better from Devo. Never go into that enemy corner, especially uh, in twos, as that last back is going to have a tough time in that 1v2, especially with somebody like Exo on the demos. Ball just wide, nearly could have been a goal there from the Trout, though. Oh, this is going to be awkward from the Trout. The double... Not really overcommit, but Fly come out and be able to stay back on the ball. And the Trout gonna have another look at this offensive possession here. Unfortunately, Devo not with enough space. Find much of it. He's gonna have to stay on. The Trout look like they're getting a little bit overpowered right now. The Cobra is finding maybe a little bit more momentum as things keep going here. Definitely not, you know, able to count anybody out, but. Oh, big oh, miss! Devo! Uh, it's unfortunate. You take that one slow, and that's definitely a goal, but you can't anticipate the miss by any means. Oh, I mean, especially when you have a 20 cell on the ball. Exo making a diving save. That was a great near post shot from Sly, but he's able to bring that over to Azza. Azza now with 50 boost. Gets the reset, tries to put it in, not able to. Sly able to clear this out wide. Trout to try to get another attacking opportunity here. Diva with a dunk, and now tries to be one, but as of there, able to clear it out. And it seems that the Trout maybe are starting to lose a little bit of steam in this game seven. And you have to put a lot of effort and ability into the last, you know, three games that you play. Yeah, you know, some of that steam is gonna go away eventually. You can't stay hot all night. Uh, I, I really hope that they're able to put a little bit more into this. And not even a little bit more, but a little bit more than what they're given right now, just to give them the edge. They've played so well up to this point, and I can't imagine that they're gonna be all right with just you know, exactly what they've done so far. As Sly looks like he's going to be able to get a catch here. Potentially a touch back down to his teammate. As Az is going to be slightly awkward on the wall here. Just under two minutes left to go in this game. And the Trout are looking for a goal in order to survive. There's a huge proof up into the 50. A minute 40 left. We find ourselves on the Oregon half. Az has to be careful there. And that nearly could have been a goal that just slipped right in. But Az is positioned well. Line out, decides to take this over as the XO following quickly. 
Now in one v one between Exo and Devo. He's able to get the reset oh slide though, able to clear it out. And these plays are making me a little bit angsty. I really don't know what's gonna happen. A play by Trout and just Exo cleared it out again. They need to start finding some more plays between themselves. They they're covering this backboard, the Cobras, and Trout are just kind of giving it away with every backward pass. Yeah, a little bit, but it's it's one of those things where you know you are you're on the net right now. You have to kind of just sit back and, and hope that what you can do is just enough. As Devo gonna put one up, he finds the double for the equalizer within the minute. Are you kidding me? No, what this, a is, this, shot. Is, this is what you call a perfect execution for a counter attack right here. Devo misses that, slides right yeah. back there to put it in, and you know you put Devo one on one with anybody. I don't care. You know, that's if what you're we're telling you. Devo's on his shit tonight. So I was saying. executed to perfection. I mean, crossbar down, oh, boy. double, perfect read. You're a shot from Sly, Exo playing back. Oh. Just a touch mid. As I'm not positioned correctly, both Cobra players sort of in the same spots. 35 seconds remaining. Can the Trout find another one in regulation? Sly. You know, the great thing is, is that we just saw the two mistakes both of these teams made were diving plays into the enemy corner. Oh my and god. And Trout do it. And the trout do it. Are you kidding me? What happened? Are you Wait, kidding oh, me? As, as I got bumped and Exo committed his last back. Are you kidding 23 me? Three seconds left and Devo has an easy open net. The Trout are now in the lead. What in is game this? Seven. I cannot Welcome even believe legend. this. Welcome to Legends, where literally one or two mistakes can oh, alter a whole game. It's, it's definitely not over yet. Oh, it's definitely it over. Is, uh, it's no, definitely no. over. No way. The London, no way. The London oh my God. Cobras up 3-0 to begin the game. And what did I tell you at the end of that game, Crow? What word for word yeah. did I tell you? I, I can't remember, but it was something along the lines of, this team can do it. That's all that it matters. This end team here. can do it. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't end it. here. It doesn't. We know the script. I, the Trout know the script, too. I read a damn good I script, mean, Crow. No, you did. Oh, my God. Oh, well, it's not on. over. Hold it's on. not over. I don't remember this being in the script. Hold on, hold on. I, I remember it. I write such a good script that we forget what's in the script sometimes. Is that what you edited like Listen, literally an hour before? Because I didn't read that. Yeah, I don't know. You saw the edited okay. part piece of it? Right, right, right. Um, oh, you no, see okay. the little part at the bottom that says game seven overtime? Yeah, no, oh. I added that part in right at the end. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. I don't think uh, there's any overtime happening. Uh, Sly's not going to allow it. Kenny, you might have just jinxed it. Listen, I don't know. Dude. It's about to be over and it's done. I told you. Wow. I told you guys, Trout, when I got in here, I said to Trout. Oh my, I I don't have words right now. The Trout just completed a successful reverse sweep on stream. By it's the way, right. it's it's this is like the perfect story. I told you yep. this is this is the yep. story. This is the storybook. This is the this is the sixty minutes right here. I can't even believe that we just saw that. See, I mentioned earlier in the series, like game three, about I think maybe it might have been game four. Uh, when we thought that the Cobras were going to end it in a sweep, I said, so who's the main character? Who's the protagonist? And I, I really thought it'd be Trout. You kind of said Cobras, but you also had, had Trout in the back of your mind. I was full, full belief that the Trout were the main characters in this and that they were going to have their redemption story. And I didn't think it'd be a, a, you know, a reverse sweep. I thought it'd maybe be like a game seven with some back and forths, but they proved me wrong. And they wanted to make it a little bit more interesting to beat this Trout team in the, sorry, the Cobras in the finals after being eliminated first round last season. Well, now they've been eliminated last round this season. Um, and the Cobras, yeah. honestly, they, they've just been so... Uh, listen, I don't, I, we didn't really see them all year. We didn't really see too much of them throughout the season. So, you know, it is, it is kind of tough to kind of judge what they've been able to do. Plus, I know that they had uh, a fair amount of kind of change-ups throughout the season, but... More than anything else, I do want to talk about the Trout Squad uh, because that, that squad is crazy. First team eliminated last season to the London Cobras. Eighth place finish with no wins last season. Second place finish this season. First round bye this season. Beats the number one team with the top 100 player on it this season. Penny's team that we were so confident was winning. In fact, it was the only lock that I had in my mind that was winning the whole thing. And they went on and surprised us all. Beat the 20 cell as a, and all of a sudden they're champions now and Sly's done it. Goes from best of the worst of last season 
Dude, the best of the best with Evo to this season. And to be honest with you, it's just so crazy that stuff like that exists. Uh, that it is I mean, as possible as it was to just kind of see what we just saw. As we bring them in right now, though, make sure you have your questions ready because I'm 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 ready to go ahead and. No, as you said, as you said though, and I, I told Devo this, um, like well, I think it was before last weekend or so, is that I knew that they were going to be right up there with like the elk, and they could win it no matter what. When Devo came back. When Devo said, he, he said, I'm done with Rocket League. And I said, thank you. I'm glad. And then he came back and I said, shit, this is not fair. Well, it's not fair. And so I, I, cause I, I know, I know what Devo can do and you put Devo and Sly together and it's never, that's just not fair. Um, and so like, you know, I, anybody knows I'm a big Devo fan. I have been a Devo fan, even though Sly is washed. Yes, sir. Henny. Wow. <laughs> You know what the worst part about you guys winning is? That I probably have to give a roll to Tito now. Like that's the legitimate oh, worst part. We God. won it for Tito. Oh I won goodness. that for Tito. That I had Tito in my heart the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> it was for Tito. Alrighty, all right. We'll get we'll give one to Tito. If Tito like had been active the past couple days, we would have swept. If Tito. The only reason Tito is our literally our superpower. I like to hear that. Much love for the brother. We love Tito. Um, so let me, let me start off with the obvious here. First of all, congratulations on everything. Uh, the, the win, the reverse sweep, uh, the milestones for Sly, the, the chip for Devo. I mean, honestly, it doesn't get much better than that. And you guys did it in just about the most fashionable way that you could have. Uh, so massive congratulations. We'll have to download the VOD. Uh, we'll edit it up. We'll put it out and it'll be all real nice. Cause that's going to be one pretty video once it's all done. Uh, I got to ask the big question though, the reverse sweep, you guys are down three games. What is that? What does that call look like going into that fourth game? What kind of picks you guys back up? You know, how, how do you guys we, go from that game three to game four? We have literally nothing to lose. Yeah. Like at that, at that point, anything we do that is not just whatever is going to get us a loss. Like, so I'm just, I'm just telling Diva like, okay, just chase. <laughs> yeah. Just don't yeah. let them breathe. Cause they're just uh, playing there's, ball. <laughs> there's that one game I had like 86 touches. Like I was a monkey. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. I mean, you guys played phenomenally. The mechanics were coming out. Uh, you guys were getting touches like, that I didn't even know. You like we get. knew, we knew from the start. Like before the series even started, we were the faster team. Right. Like I don't think there's many teams in this league that are faster than us. But we came out of those first three games real slow. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. It was, like, just a, it was just a matter of getting into that. Especially, honestly, the whole again. series, the only goals we were really scoring was were like one v ones, one v twos, because like we just. We weren't really backing each other up enough. Um, like, that was the big thing with them, especially in the first three games. Like, I would hit it past one, and the other would be right there. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. I don't I know. I mean, that. <laughs> yeah, the first three games, the first three games they played, Exo was more involved, and he was more on you guys, making the small bumps when you guys would, you know, go to control the ball. Or he was, you know, getting the demos, um, and, and he was just, you know, even on the comeback, he was flying to disrupt the, the you know, guy, you guys, as you guys were up in the air. And then it seemed like the next four games until kind of that last game, he went away from that. And you guys started taking the ball more from being completely controlled and trying to play that game to sending the ball behind them and keeping as a back from being able to like take possession and get like really good plays off on it. I mean, was that like a, a thing you guys did? Like, and that was like keep the ball, keep well, the ball far away. Instead well, I've played with EXO for forward. a while, so I know how he plays. So I was just like, okay, get it around EXO, because Azza's not doing a great job of one v oneing us. Because a lot of those one v ones we got into with him, they were just goals. So as long as we got it by EXO, as I had to play a lot more passive, because yep. EXO, because their 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 spacing was really far very far so once we got it past one it was just a matter of getting them one to play more passive and then 
just kind of beat them on the 1v1s. And, and then and in the, in the last three definitely. games, we, we played 50s. Yeah, you guys like, did that really we well. We played heavy yeah. 50s in the last couple games. Ooh. They kept also just putting it right in front of the net for you guys. Well, you guys would put it in front of the net, but the 50s would go, you know, they, they just worked out well for you guys. The 50s, you guys played really yeah. well. Uh, the bumps at the beginning were really, really good. Uh, you guys kind of got that under control real fast, especially on the other side of things. Um, but no, I, I think overall, you guys adapted really, really well throughout the series. Various different things that come at you guys, you guys handled impeccably. Uh, you know, the various different uh, mechanics you guys had to pull out and use. I mean, everything was just done very well. I'm just glad that I played better in that series than I did against the Elk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I said, what I'm glad to be able to see is like when I got in here, you guys were down. It was in game three when I popped in the chat yep. and I still said Trout. Um, and, and I knew it was because you guys can play the long run teams like the cobras you know they were popping off they were playing quicker they were getting to the ball quicker but you guys they had a steady pace like I, I don't know if you guys really played much faster than what you guys were playing in those first ones as it came back down to to the real world and hey. stop you know being able to do a lot of well yeah we should we, that, that was our goal just Shut stop him, him from booming right because right. he, he was playing boomer ball yep. all game all game every game for those first three games so just shut and down so that boomer ball, and then you can play 50s more. You can yep. play closer, you can play tighter, you can play faster. Like Diva, I do have uh, a question though. How scared were how's you? How does it winning? feel being uh, MVP? Oh, that's that's our second award. That's our second award <laughs> that we have to give out. But answer Andy's question first. Uh, Diva, I think it was what uh, game seven, the dive into the corner. Miss the ball, oh. and oh, then yeah. as it has, you know, Sly in a one v one, and Exo comes in and gets the demo. I mean, was that how, how'd that feel? Like, was that kind of like a an that was the win? that was the first goal, right? Yeah, it was. Yep. Yeah, no, because there was a couple points in that series that I felt like that was happening, and we were kind of getting away with it. And I I knew originally like. I just jumped wrong for it, and I think I missed or just barely touched it. I was like, oh, well, that's probably chalked. <laughs> and and then, yeah. I don't and know. then I you guys it's... came back doing the same thing. Exo dives on the ball in the corner, and then you get as a right back in a 1v1, and at that point, he's not stopping you. You know, you're, you're, you're good enough to be able to put that ball in the net. Was that kind of a, a good defining moment to say, hey, we're, we're we're here like i've got this like i can wash that last play away yeah i felt like i think it was i think we evened it up at about like a minute left or so and i felt like for the most part we were getting the pressure that we had had slowed down a lot they were pressuring us quite a bit and i was like as soon as we got that goal i was like all right now we're we're reset and momentum's back with us and we managed to go up uh, i think it was two goals and thankfully we were able to hold on to that. I have a question for either of you if you're willing to answer, and obviously you don't have to. Uh, do either of you two have plans for threes yet? Are you guys playing yes. in threes? No, you already know what's going on with threes. <laughs> so I, was say, I, 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 know, I know you definitely have plans <laughs> for threes. But Devo, do you, you have plans for threes, I assume? Uh, I do not know. Oh, all right, so there you uh, go, everybody. Devo is on the table for threes. If anybody's looking for a star, any, any, oh, hold on, player. hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Hold on. Any any threes GMs watching? Besides Kapow, if you pick me up, I'm leaving your team. Yup. There you go. I'll yeah, even put it in my AGM. bio. I'll, we'll be fine. Oh wait, the team that I might AGM doesn't have legends. <laughs> Kind of um, about that. All right, so I got I got two last questions. Uh, the first one's for Sly. Sly, after after your journey, you know what you've had. Uh, it's it's been a long time coming. How does it feel, honest to God? I I don't know. <laughs> it feels good. It feels good. It's, it's, it's it nice feels to good. see. It feels good. You put in a lot <laughs> of no work. It's like no it one's right. It was nice right now. Like it was nice denying Exo of what he denied the me. Best right. Of course, and you know you beat the Cobras. You know this is a revenge match. This is a total grudge match. Unfortunately. You know, you've already beaten one tap. It wasn't in the finals, but you got the job done. So you really came back and you beat A, your teammate, and, you know, the other guy you played with last season. Uh, Doge wasn't here, but whatever. At that point, it doesn't matter. 
you killed yeah. them you, you did a great job you're on your stuff um and that leads me to my second question and my second question is not for diva it's for henny uh and henny it's it's just about that time of the night where you go ahead and you tell us what you saw so first i have to ask one question to 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 make sure me and crow got this right oh yeah Devo, game six was that a pinch in the net off the ground or was it a dunk <laughs> over exo um uh, i'm not gonna like lie. A, oh i think one you just bodied through him i think that one i just i think it was coming down at the ceiling and i just ate and I don't think they expected it. I think I just, I felt like I just hit oh, it. Oh, and it oh no, 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 like no. No, I know, I know what you're talking like about. 50. It yeah, was the shot know. from the corner. It, what? Oh, that one. Are you talking? I think so, yeah. It was, uh, oh, it it was, was a back half of the series goal. It was the back half of the yeah. series goal. Yeah, yeah that shot from the corner. The wall, you hit it off the wall. It, it's dropping right in front of as an exo. And from the replay that we saw, it almost looks like a 50, but as you were doing it, it looked like you made a pinch play right in front of the net. Um, be honest, if it's the goal from like the corner I'm thinking of, I just, I just hit it. It wasn't a pinch, but maybe I'm if it's like, if it was, if it's the one that I'm thinking of on the goal line, I think he just bodied XO. Okay. I, mean, I think it was a 50, like some sort of 50 I, pinch. I thought it was because... a dunk. Me and Azza were out. Me and Azza were out at midfield, right? I'm just trying to. I can't remember. Exactly no, Azza, 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 and Exo both were in the net. Azza was on the right side. Exo was facing Devo. It looked like Exo was making a play on it. Um, I got but no it really idea. looked like to, Devo went for the pinch play to, right in front of the net, and then boom. But Nolan, to go with your question, it, it, it's gonna go to Devo. Wow. Um, you know, as much as I like to to sit there and put the nitty gritty guy, um, and I, I think Sly did that part really well, allowing Devo to do what he was doing, and you know, by Sly even coming in saying, "Hey, I told him to ape," just goes to show that Sly was making the nitty gritty plays that he needed to make to to keep that ball up there and allow Devo to to go through. But through those last four games. We watched Devo hit some incredible shots. Um, we got to watch Devo play the offensive side, keeping the pressure up and, and, you know, taking dives when, you know, maybe you would be like, why are you doing that? Right. But it, it, it allowed it allowed for great content. It allowed to see what Devo is really capable of. Um, so I, I think Devo takes it uh, and it's not a landslide. I think he'd go either way, no matter what. But when it comes down to it, Devo clutched up. And, you know, like I said, you know, you look at game seven, game one, or first goal, Devo gives up. And then second goal, Devo comes right back at him. And that's just the resilience factor that, you know, a lot of the players, that happens in game seven, their mental goes away. But Devo said, no, we're still going to win this. And comes in and clutches up. And then you guys just do the incredible and you know reverse sweep and take the championship i had no doubt even when it was down three zero so yeah i think devo and if i could i'd give one to sly as well well sly could definitely end up getting you know our mvp of the season you know what i mean and i think it's certainly no, I'll, get an most, award. I'll get most improved again hey listen you definitely could <laughs> who knows uh, if you get most improved, I, I'm quitting the league. <laughs> um, all right. Well, on that note, we have gifted our Hennessy of Legends, a player of the game, MVP, all around extravaganza role to Devo. Um, guys, that's that's pretty much it. That's that's Legends in the books. That's two no, seasons. we had two great series already. Like, yeah. Just two series that happen and you're just like, how? Right. And I think arguably our better two series are supposed to be the other two we haven't seen yet. Like we knew Contender was going to be great and Legends obviously going to be awesome. But I feel like there's so much we don't know about All-Star and we're never going to know until we actually watch it. Uh, and then Ultimate, we, we just, I mean, everybody makes their own assumptions for that. But if they ever get it scheduled, we'll hopefully see them play. So I will tell you, we are trying to get it scheduled um, for... I, I'm hoping for Sunday. Oh, uh, not Father's Day. K, Come on. KB's doing 
so we we actually have like you know loading works until 11 12 o'clock at night right um on, on the weekdays and so it's hard to get games scheduled right there and i don't think it's fair to to try scheduling a game where loading's not playing when he's been you know the the show uh the leading role in the show the whole oh, time agreed. Huh? um so you know i have to have loading in there no matter what uh, so we're just kind of waiting for the response back from KB to see if we can get it Sunday, and if so, it'd be we're gonna try shooting to get Sunday um, for you <laughs> to make it easy, either in front or behind the All Star game. Okay, well we can figure that out. That would mean URL two is wrapped up this weekend, uh, tomorrow in specific. But we will we'll figure that. Out. We'll talk. Uh, listen, we've been doing this post game interview for about a half an hour now, and I'm definitely done with it. Uh, so everybody, thank you so much for coming through. It's been an absolute pleasure to show you guys this game and huge congratulations to the crowd. Seemingly pulled off everything in one night. Uh, so guys, congratulations. Awesome stuff. Henny and Crow, thank you so much for coming through. Anybody got any last thoughts before we get out of here? Actually, you know what? Devo Sly, you guys both get a shout out each. Uh, I mean, shout out, shout out Harry. Cheering us on in the chat. Shout the out time. Harry. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, first I want to say like, GG's the Cobras. Yeah. I mean, I feel like every game in that series was pretty much like one goal difference. Like that was one of the closest series I think I've ever played. Yeah, um, there was not a whole lot of games where that was one sided. But um I mean shit. <laughs> like yeah just make sure to get Tito on. Tito's yes, me. Well we will we will certainly talk about him. I'm sure he'll be very excited won to hear that, the news. Won it for Tito. <laughs> Four yes, Tito. Sir. All right. You guys, you guys made it to where we still have a chance. The Elks have a chance to to win the most championships this season. So I'm gonna make them boys grind before tomorrow. You have to. But I appreciate you boys. Well, on that note, we are we're out and done with legends, legends and contenders in the book. All star and ultimate, the only two left. But on that note. We are going to go ahead and hang it up because we have been at this for far too long now. Devo and Sly, congratulations. Everybody else, thank you so much for coming out. We'll have another game tomorrow at the very least, probably two now. Uh, so get hyped, get excited, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe.